It's National Indigenous History Month in Canada, and given everything going on in the country right now, it's never been clearer that the truth part of truth and reconciliation is so, so vital. A lot of Canadians are just finding out now that Canadian history is not what we thought it was. And if we're going to really uncover the truth, we have to listen to the Indigenous people of Turtle Island to get it. And if we listen, there's a lot we can learn. In fact, these truths might point us to the long debated origins of hockey. That's right, there's evidence that suggests the Mi'kmaq people were responsible for laying the foundations of what we now know as hockey. I have with me three experts on the subject, Cheryl Maloney, her sister April, and her son Chase, who all three together produced a documentary called The Game of Hockey, A Mi'kmaq Story. Guys, first of all, thank you so much for being here. I'm gonna start by asking, how long have you known that the origins of hockey are rooted in a Mi'kmaq tradition? And what can you tell us about those origins? I think I'll start with that. Um... I actually was um, teaching university and one of my students wrote a paper on the Mi'kmaq hockey sticks. And I remember marking it and saying, well, why are you not claiming the whole game? Why are you just, you know, claiming the Mi'kmaq created the hockey stick and not everything else? And I think the, um, the issue with that would have been that everything in society, in Canadian society, uh, wants things to be proven and it, they want it in writing, preferably in English. And so that's where our story, um, you know, kind of, it, it got lost in translation. It's taken a long time, but it really started coming together when we, we, we took it serious the last couple of years and started doing research and it just snowballed. Did you have an aha moment during your research where you thought, wow, I really feel confident that we've proven that hockey has Mi'kmaq roots? Uh, so when I was looking for uh, evidence and looking at the old Big Ma hockey sticks at the Millbrook Museum, I uh, found an old uh, Big Ma hockey stick, and it was actually made by my great great grandfather Alexander Cope. So it was really cool uh, seeing my ancestors in part of uh, creating this game. Once we looked beyond the obvious, um, we started finding lots of oral history. We started finding um, evidence in the Mi'kmaq language. And that was really important because the Mi'kmaq language now is, is almost going extinct. And the modern day Mi'kmaq language has a lot of French and English um, dialects to it. So when we started with our linguist and what's the words we had and, and he had to really look back and reach back and some of the old language, um, pre-contact language that describes the game on ice, this fouls, slap shots, um, you know, that's when we got really excited. Like we're onto something because this is old Mi'kmaq language and we have um, the language to describe the tools. So it's very much a part of Mi'kmaq that, you know, we were craftsmen with wood, but does anyone know how much further it went? And I think uh, putting that, those pieces together is, has been really exciting for us. That's incredible. So that's some really solid evidence that hockey was being played before European people ever came to North America. But like you said, it's complicated because most Indigenous cultures operate off of oral teachings and that's how you guys pass things along whereas European people are so used to just written down accounts of history. Why do you think it's taken so long for hockey historians, historians in general, hockey fans to make this connection and where do you think hockey could start giving credit where credit is due? Like is there any reference to this in the Hockey Hall of Fame or anything like that? One of the things when we started out um, looking at how do you claim the game you look to Windsor and Kingston and all these people and places in the International Hockey Association or whoever approves of, you know, what's the criteria to prove hockey was created in Windsor. We didn't look or, or really concern ourselves that a colonial institution would recognize our contributions to the game. Very early off, I, I thought, okay, we need to do this for the young hockey players like my son that are out there and facing racism and, and, and facing, um, you know, this inferior place 
in this country where, you know, Mi'kmaq children aren't as important. And for me, I always said, Chase, you know, we invented this game. You can play this game. You know, you're as good as anyone else. Your ancestors are, you know, the creators of this game. Uh, our audience was intended to be for the Mi'kmaq people and for the Mi'kmaq children, not for international recognition or, you know, anything like that. For us, we're like, how did we lose this? And the answer um, became very clear. Our generations included the residential school era and the loss of um, family connections, the loss of the language, the loss of history, the loss of a lot of, of our, our society. Um, you know, we lost so much, but one of the things we lost was this story this connection to the story. I told Chase, you know, when we're done, this is gonna be your job to carry on with this story when we're gone. Luckily for him, he has it documented in, in his research and we have it documented in this film. And we're hoping that, you know, we don't ever forget again and that our children and, and our grandchildren will always know our role. And we're hoping Canadians embrace and celebrate it with us.